Welcome to another day of launches and building the International Space Space Station. Um, you'll notice today, again, we are launching in our, uh, we'll call it the heavy configuration, um, with the four strap-on solid rocket boosters and the upgraded upper stage with additional RCS propellant. Uh, we'll do the math again on the weight of this station. I think it's more tonnage than the one we launched, launched yesterday, but that's just me kind of thinking out loud. I'm not really sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so here we go. We'll uh, get to the launch, and then we'll talk about uh, what we're launching today. We did get a little wobbly here on ascent, but uh, that's all right. Now, a problem we got into yesterday when we were launching that uh, heavy module was, we, luckily, we were able to launch directly into the inclination of the station, and that saved us a lot of delta V. Um, but today, I don't think that we'll hit that exactly like we did yesterday, which was super awesome. And so we're going to adjust our ascent profile a little bit and try to help us out in the, the uh, delta V profile also. We don't get into any problems Um with uh, running out of Delta V. All right, now we're finally out in the sun. You can kind of see this module a little bit. It also sports some solar arrays. Um, this actual, so today, I don't think I've told you yet. I apologize. Today, we are launching the uh, Zedzia module. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, it means star, so I will refer to it as the star module. Um, the star module Obviously, it's a component of, our, of the International Space Station, which is why we're launching it. Um, it provides all of the station's life support systems, some of which are supplemented in the uh, USOS, which is the US orbital segment. But the bulk of the life support systems come from this module. Um, it also provides living quarters for two crew members. Um, it is the structural and functional center of the Russian portion of the station, uh, also known as the ROS, or the Russian orbital segment of the station um, was launched July 12th 2000 on a Proton K rocket uh, docked on July 26th um, and it uh, is permanently docked to the station real life mass was 20,320 kilograms or 44,800 pounds um, at launch it weighed 22,776 kilograms or 50,000 
212 pounds. Has a length of 43 feet and a width of 97 feet. The diameter of 4.35 meters. Living volume is 2,652 cubic feet, um, of which 1,650 are livable. You'll notice that the front of the module sports a uh, six-sided docking hub. Of course, one of those six sides is occupied by the rest of the segment. Um, oh, let's do our math really quick. I apologize for getting sidetracked. Let's see. So we end at 14.0 tons, and our upper stage only weighs nine tons or five tons, and so that leaves us with so this this uh, launch today, we're launching nine tons into orbit, which is far less than the 16.1 tons that we launched yesterday. Um, so yesterday so far holds the record. So we had a launch of 2.4 tons and then 4.1 tons and then 16.1 tons, the heavy hitter, and then today of 9 tons. Um, as I was saying, uh, you'll notice the the six-sided docking uh, ring, I guess you could call it, on the front of there. Um, the, fr the front of that will be attached to the back of the module we launched yesterday. Um, on top of the, on the, the side facing, uh, Zenith, which should be up for the rest of us is the, uh, Poisk module, which will be launched at a later day. It's like a docking adapter, essentially, where the progress or the Soyuz docks to. And on the Zenith side of that, or the Nader side of that, or the down side of that, uh, will be docked the Pyrus docking module. And of course, those will be launched at a different date. And the two side modules, the two side docking ports don't actually exist um, on the actual um, station, but uh, we don't have a four sided docking port available to us in Kerbal Space Program at the time of this video. So. Yes, working on catching up with the station now. We'll be there soon, and then we'll get to docking. We turn in, uh, we've got a relative speed pretty quick on this intercept. Should have started that burn just a little bit sooner, but uh, the station won't get too far away from us, so that's all right. This is a very, I mean, even though yesterday's launch was technically bigger, uh, or more massive, I, I should say. Um, this is still a very large module for the upper stage. But the upper stage is a, is a workhorse. I've been super impressed with it. I designed it myself.
and we'll point towards the station, perform another burn. Um, unlike the last two launches, last two launches we launched more than one module up here. And in fact, we launched two modules up here the last yesterday and the day before. Uh, but this module gets its own dedicated launch just due to its size and length. As we're coming in here now, it looks like we are going to have to do one more closure burn, but uh, that's quite all right. We're almost there. This intercept takes a little while. Not as long as it could though, but uh, it's just a minute. And we're on a good, good closure now though. That uh, looks pretty cool there with the, all the stars in the background. Looks like all of our rendezvous and intercepts have been in the dark, <laughs> on the not out in the sun. Kind of a bummer. I know YouTube does make videos a little bit darker, so I do apologize. Hopefully, it's not too dark. We'll uh, find out, I guess. Looks like we have the right thing targeted over there, but we're just gonna make sure. Will it not let me select it? Come on. Let me select it. There we go. And, oh, yep, it already is target, but, oh, you know what? We'll just set as target again just to make sure. Perfect. I do think it actually changed that point a little bit. And control from here. There we go. Now we're just going to do a power slide right on over there and uh, get us docked, undock our upper stage, deorbit it, and we'll be on to the next... Uh, the next piece of the station. It's moving nice and slow.
You're getting some uh, sunlight on the station now. That's pretty nice. It's moving nice and slow. The station's big enough now that like if we hit it and blow it apart, I'll be really sad and probably scrap this idea um, of modeling all current uh, events um, as far as space launches and, and failures and successes go. So... We'll just go nice and slow so we don't have any mistakes and we're going to save a lot so we don't mess up. And make sure we're lined up on all the different axes, axi, axi. And keep bringing it in nice and slow. Make sure we're oriented correctly. We're pretty close, actually, on orientation. We might have to uh, rotate just a little bit. Yep, we're going to have to rotate just a little bit. Just a little more, a little more, right there. And we'll stop. Hold short um, a little bit more. Yeah, we're, that's real close right there. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it in for docking. Let's just grab one more save just to be sure. Going in. RCS off. Perfect. That was really smooth. There we go. So there is the star module attached to the station now. And we'll grab a save just in case it decides to explode. Um, and we'll undock. And we will perform our um, departure burn. And then we'll deorbit again. And thank you everybody for watching. Remember, tune in tomorrow as we will be adding another module onto our space station. If you missed the other launches or want to go back and review launches or where we're at, uh, this playlist has all the previous launches. Uh, they started on Wednesday. Tuesday was CRS-17, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on have been the other, uh, the other launches to build the station. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time.